If you are a social media junkie who follows politics and matters of national concern, you have probably heard or interacted with Jackie Asimwe Mwesige. She is passionate about social justice and will do anything to defend the vulnerable in society. The world shouldn't, you know, judge me on the basis of who I am as a woman and therefore relegate me to a certain position that all of us are equal. She is married and the couple has two boys. Jackie is the first-born child among five siblings. Her father, the Reverend Benon Mugarra, is now a retired Anglican priest, having served as Macquarie University's St. Francis chaplain for many years. As children, Jackie and her sisters taught the boys that they also had to do the house chores. You also eat food, you make your clothes dirty, you make the house dirty. So it should not fall only on us to do the housework. So from that day on, we instituted a timetable. Each person had um, a day that they would cook, and we said we don't mind even if we eat half-boiled food, it's okay. The issue is you must participate in the housework like the rest of us. Equality in society has always been near to her heart, so it was probably natural that she studied law at the university. Jackie did all the six years of secondary education at Gaza High School, where she struggled with her hair. She later found a solution by choosing dreadlocks for natural hair. It was an easy choice since her role model and lecturer, Makere Law Dawn Dr. Sylvia Tamale, had dreadlocks. Besides, for Jackie, dreadlocks is not only a hairstyle, but also a tool of expression. If you're a dreadlocked person, you know, they either see you, either you must be a muyaye or a drug or something, or, you know, but can dreadlocks also be associated with with personal choice, with intelligence. As a first-year law student, Jackie volunteered with the Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, and has never looked back since. I did law to help those less fortunate than me. Again, part of it was my upbringing because that's what I saw, my, that's what was molded for me. What I quickly learned was that the law doesn't give you all the answers. And I think there was that sense for me of, of frustration. Being a lawyer also gave her some sense of accomplishment. Some lady came to me um, and she said, I was your client at FIDA and I came with my daughter, I don't think you remember, but she became a lawyer because of you. And you're like, what? No, how? Like, I mean, no amount of money can ever pay for that kind of feeling. Her sons, aged 11 and 13, have watched their mother go out every day to fight for many causes, including activism and the civil society-led Black Monday movement. Mm. Various activists are arrested and whatever, then they see mommy putting on black, aren't you going to be arrested? No, but we must speak out. Um, the last elections I went with them so that they see that as a responsible citizen you must vote, you must be involved. In Jackie speaks warmly of the Black Monday campaign that arose following the multi-billion shilling scandal in the office of the Prime Minister. She says this was the biggest insult to the people of northern Uganda recovering from war. Every Ugandan language has a word for thief and everyone understands and is taught even from home it is wrong to steal, it is wrong to take things that are not yours, whether it is a pencil or public funds. We agreed early on that this is a political fight also. You, you can't be, <laughs> it can't be the usual workshop -y. No, 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 it has to be out there and in people's faces and it's up on As a lawyer, it pains her deeply that Uganda has not had a chief justice for nearly two years now. There is also no substantive deputy chief justice. Uh, Honorable Kamia has said consistently you know, over the last three or four years, our constitution placed too much power in the hands of one person. So for as long as it remains in the hands of this one person to determine who he chooses, when he chooses, there is definitely need for a new constitutional dispensation. But I think that can only happen when we wrest power from this one person. With the 2016 general elections drawing closer, we discussed the dwindling number of voters in national elections. Longevity produces a certain lethargy. I like, what can I, even if I go to vote, will my vote actually count? Will my vote change anything? If, but I think we can't afford to be apathetic at the same time because otherwise who will change our fortunes? It has to be us. Jackie argues that Uganda's biggest problem now is that we've had the same top national leaders for nearly three decades. So changes elsewhere do not make much of a difference. Whatever you change in here, once the, if the top is the same, 
not much you know gets done so that's why it was important for us not to kick out term limits that's why it's important for us not to even dare tamper with age limits she is a woman with a voice skill and intellect some friends wonder why she is not doing more there's a narrative i think that that says really at the end of the day even when you're an accomplished woman your space is still judged by how well you're doing at home okay so because if home is crumbling who is to blame it's a woman if home is you know the couple decided to raise their children the traditional way the boys only watch television on weekends so we want to encourage more a culture of reading okay because i think tv just kills the imagination and i've told my children that i have to have access to you so i need to know your password because i need to be checking at any point i can drop in on you and say let me see what you've been looking at let me see what you've been searching and let's talk about why are you searching those sites on the proliferation of sex tapes and nude pictures jackie says this reinforces the stereotype that a woman is nothing but her body that does nothing for the dignity of women that does nothing for for them being taken as equal citizens I then asked Jackie if she would consider seeking an elective office as some of those who wish her well have suggested. <sighs> I believe I am serving my country. Does it have to be elective politics? I don't think so. Women activists like Jackie are often accused of being angry with broken homes and hell bent on using their platform to fight men as a means to let off their frustration. Aren't there broken homes? Yes, there are. Whether or not you're an activist, aren't there are women out there who last night were beaten? Whether or not they're activists, it is making your anger positive, you know, and turning it in, in directing it in a way that then causes change. But for us to throw stones because ahead of the International Women's Day celebrations on 8th March, I pick her mind on the celebrations. She says that while women are their worst critics, they shouldn't lose sleep over the fact that they may not be superwomen. You are a full and equal being. Celebrate yourself. Jackie Asima Mwesige would like to be remembered as someone who gave all she had for the causes she was passionate about. Josephine Karunji, NTV.